Hey guys, welcome back to the Fat Kid Inside. So today I'm showing you actually one of my favorite recipes and one of my favorite combinations that is, and that is prawns with garlic, beautiful, fresh, big prawns. What I did already was separate the heads from the body. Make sure as hell you do not throw those heads away because that is just pure flavor. You can use that in stocks and in different sauces and stuff. But today, for the purpose of this recipe, I'm just gonna use the body. I'm gonna put it with a damn load and a bucket load of garlic, a bit of butter, some sugar, some flour just to get it nice and thick. So basically it's just like a shrimp scampi like you do in Hawaii, so that's what I'm doing for you. Today. So first what we're gonna do, I already chopped actually a red onion. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is just chop some garlic very finely and I literally have about 15 pieces in here and I have about 15 pieces of shrimp so something that's equivalent to that. So chop everything perfectly. Once I've got something nicely combined and fine just like this, I'm gonna get a pan nice and hot on my stove, a little bit of olive oil and I'm literally gonna just throw everything inside. I don't wanna brown it too much, but I just wanna get that flavor nice and going. So what I'm gonna do now, just because I need something to really thicken up that sauce, I'm gonna take some flour and some butter, just to toast it a little bit. That'll help me really thicken up all the garlic and shrimp marinade that I've got going. So I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of flour onto a pot with absolutely nothing else, and I'm gonna add some butter inside just to get that flavor I need. So that will get nice and toasted, and then we're gonna add the butter. I'm gonna take about two tablespoons of butter, put that right in there. And this is something they use in French cooking a lot, so I'm just gonna really melt that up together and make sure that I have a nice paste that's nice and consistent. Once I have that butter and flour mixture happening in my pot, I'm just gonna keep that to the side, and I'm gonna go ahead and fry my shrimp with my garlic. When my garlic is nice and brown, I'm gonna take my shrimp and just dump it into my pan. And then once that's in there, I'm gonna add some white wine to just really build that sauce properly. So any type of dry white wine will work perfectly. Why I love this recipe is just, it's so pungent in terms of garlic, and we Filipinos absolutely love our garlic. I actually grew up thinking that garlic was like salt. It had to be in every dish, so it's absolutely fantastic. It's something that I love to eat, and with shrimp, it's just like a perfect combination. Once that my shrimp have turned a little orange and that sauce is getting slightly less and less liquid, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of white sugar to give me that sweetness. I'm gonna add about one fourth of a cup of lemon juice, again, that goes right in there, and that's for the tanginess. And finally, a little bit of chili, a little bit of smokiness, I'm gonna add some paprika in there. Mix all of that properly together so it's all well and combined. Turn my fire up, and then I'm gonna add my butter and my flour mixture to the whole thing. And just wait until everything gets nice and thick and those shrimp, basically that sauce is sliding off those shells. Once my sauce is beautiful and thick, what I'm gonna do is add about a teaspoon of fish sauce. So that's really gonna complement the whole thing. And a little bit of chili powder, because I like my food hot. Toss that in. Final taste test, that smell is absolutely fantastic. And we're good to go. Take a plate out. And this is just gonna look like a beautiful mess, but trust me, all that flavor, all that sweetness, all that saltiness, and then finally the brininess of the shrimp from the sea is just gonna be absolutely glorious. And you can just eat this with nice white rice or brown rice, or even some bread. It'll just pair perfectly together. It doesn't look like much on a plate, but trust me, in your mouth, it's just all flavor. And there you guys have it, a beautiful, delicious, shrimp scampi recipe that just reminds me of Hawaii. That smell is just intoxicating and I just can't wait to eat it. And I really hope you guys enjoy that recipe. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel and please do check back on all the other videos that we do have. And I'll see you guys with new content again next week. Peace out.
Once when I met shrimp, have shrimp party. One more time. Sweet, dry. What up, fool? I thought you were leaving. Yeah. I'll close soon. Vigils.